Hi guys, you're on the ADI channel. We all love to watch movies or read comics about superheroes and imagine that this all can happen in real life also. But in case each of us really had the chance to choose one superpower, which one would you personally choose? Share it in the comments. And while you're thinking, I will show you a very cool and large collection of superhero items. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Well, we're about to start. Chaos Space Marines are the fictional warriors from the Warhammer 40,000 universe. It is the general name of Space Orders and Apostate Paratroopers who betrayed the Emperor. Each warband has its own unique distinctive feature and tasks that they have set for themselves. The only thing they have in common is serving the gods of Chaos. And you know, in such a suit it's impossible to fail serving the god of Chaos, do you agree? It looks insanely wild, creepy, powerful and stylish at the same time. I don't know about you, but I would definitely like to come to some cosplay show in such a costume. It would be super cool. Autobots to the rescue, the head of good robot shouts. Led by him, they won the hearts of Transformers spectators. Yes, we're talking about Optimus Prime. This is the main character in almost all animated series, comics, films, books and video games about Transformers and the permanent leader of the Autobots. If you are also crazy about this hero, then rather get a similar mask, because only with it you can defeat our common worst enemy, Megatron. By the way, today we will talk about some other character of the Transformers movie. For now, you can test your intuition and write your ideas in the comments. Usually, I'm rather skeptical about toy helmets. They seem not very well created, somehow boring and uninteresting. All helmets, except this one. It is a Mandalorian helmet, which is from Star Wars. The accessory is made very beautifully and qualitatively. It has a backlight, as well as some incomprehensible mini sounds controlled directly from the helmet itself. It is comfortable to wear it, the head does not sweat much. It looks mega epic, besides, it does not hinder movement. In short, the work is simply gorgeous. And this is a Chevrolet Camaro, a legendary car that is directly related to Transformers. If you understand what I'm talking about, write in the comments. Let's test if you are real fans of the movie. In general, this ride, as you understand, is not simple. This is how it can dry off and suddenly begin to transform. Moreover, internal flashlights and backlights make a real show during the process. Think about how cool and bewitching all this can look somewhere on the street at night. Just crazy! This car does not completely turn into robot, but only becomes one thanks to its front part of the body. But this is quite enough for the wow effect. How did developers manage to hide so many mechanisms inside? It's still a mystery to me. Do you know what creature scares me the most? Venom. When I remember his huge mouth full of teeth and a long tongue, it immediately makes me shiver. And here is a such a realistic model. It seems that the one who created it has a completely different opinion and finds something cute in such an alien creature. I wonder how long Venom's tongue is. One meter? It seems I'm right. In any case, it's really huge and very unpleasant. BBC 8 is a character known even to all those who have not watched Star Wars. It's an astromech droid that was functioning 30 years after the Battle of Ender. The droid has a large head and a spherical body. Due to the very simple design, the costume will suit absolutely any kid who is a fan of toys and cosplays. Besides, it seems to be done quite well. You can see well-arranged details and at the same time, lightweight material. I think it's a super robot suit. I want to hit thumbs us for it. Captain America, where would we be without you, buddy? After all, this is one of the most famous superheroes. Here the things are much simpler. The captain is dressed in a suit painted as the American flag and armed with an indestructible shield, which often acts as a weapon. Such an image will suit brave guys, because Roger himself has always been a supporter of justice, for which he has sacrificed a lot. No matter what, he always came to the aid of his alias. By the way, write in the comments if you would like to drink a serum that would turn you into a perfect example of human development and existence as it had happened to Steve. Just think about the strength, endurance, agility, speed and reaction you can get. 
Now you know that I'm not good at Star Wars. But nevertheless, I have decided to show you another top toy. It is a replica of BB-8, an astromech droid that was functional 30 years after the Battle of Ender. The droid had a domed head, similar to the upper body of R2 series astromech droids, and a spherical body that allows it to move. BB-8 was painted mostly white, with little orange and silver accents on its body and a black photoreceptor on its head. The toy is cool because it can be controlled remotely. Well, isn't that adorable? Wow, looking at this suit, one phrase immediately pops up in my head. I will destroy you now. But seriously, I'm actually a little bit afraid of it. What if all of a sudden it comes to life and starts to create chaos right at my house, huh? The armor itself is metal, or rather it is conceived to be like this. But actually it is an imitation. It has a lot of luminous elements, including breast and eyes. A cannon is also attached, with lights of course. Well, I think the costume turned out well. Don't know what to choose for the party? Think about this one. Next in line is 38 Iron Man armor, codenamed Iger. Yes, Iger! What's so strange about that? It specialized in lifting heavy objects and was a part of the Iron Legion. The suit differs not only in its shape and in a set of smart functions, but also in color. You see that it is blue, honestly. It's very unusual for me to see something like this. But it is worth saying that it is interesting. I would like to buy it myself as a keepsake. Thor and Loki. These guys are no less famous than the same Iron Man. You all know about Thor and today he will definitely appear. But in the meantime, I would like to start with Loki and his entertaining weapons. This is the Scepter, the weapon Loki received from the Other. It is the shell for the Mind Stone. By the way, the Other is the servant and confidant of Thanos, who was the right to speak on behalf of his master. Just like the original one from the films, this Scepter has a long handle and two two sharp platinum blades, where the Infinity Stone is installed. Blades are also usable in combat as traditional melee weapons, but they are so strong that they can even repel an attack from Yolnir. And this is the helmet of Stormtroopers, the very guys who were the elite warriors of the Galactic Empire. Like Imperial class Star Destroyers and TIE fighters, they were the epitome of Emperor Palpatine's absolute power. These faceless servants of the New Order carried the will of the Emperor to thousands of star systems with force and cruelty. Apparently, something went wrong with one of them and now we have his helmet. Well, it looks just same as in the movie, very nice, big and comfortable. It also has a couple of other secret tricks, which I just won't tell you about. Therefore, either put likes or somehow fight it out yourself. Now all those who shed a tear while watching the Terminator, write about it in the comments. As for me, I did. I was so imbued with the main character that I could not even restrain myself. Yes, and this is not surprising. Speaking of Terminator, here I have a realistic mask using which everyone can feel like Arnold Schwarzenegger. It darkens one part of the face so that it gives the impression of scars and bloody marks. Besides, they used metal parts as it should be with real cyborgs. And the most important thing that I have almost forgotten is that there is also a luminous eye. Next in line are the coolest twin blasters. Their distinctive feature is the ability to fire from two directions at once. They shoot softly and the projectile practically does not fly away. The process is accompanied by a sound resembling a shot of some kind of a galactic gun. Also, while pulling the trigger, the front of the blaster lights up. As for me, it's a cool thing to play with friends or something new to the collection. But on a permanent basis, it will make you bored. So, who should I strike with lightning? I'm just kidding. Some time back I played Mortal Kombat with Raiden and I was so inspired by him that I wanted to look for some interesting cosplay. And here you go! It's a bump, right? Eyes, effects, general detail are just perfect. I have no words. This is probably the best image of the game that I have ever seen. 
What kind of thing is this? Come on, experts, tell us in the comments who owns this helmet. I haven't seen this before. I can only share my ideas. It reminded me of some kind of an insect or an alien creature, but definitely not a person. The helmet has a glowing orange element in the center, as well as the red flashing lights on the sides. It is completely white and has sharp edges. Besides, the helmet can open up, and this process looks a bit intimidating. Hmm, I just wonder whose it is. Whomsoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Have you already guessed what we're going to talk about now? Yes, about Frostmourne. This is a rune blade that Nerjul, who has the Lich King, kept away from the frozen throne in the hope that his future unsuspecting master Artas Menethil would discover it on the continent of Nordoskola. Perhaps its authors were inspired by Excalibur, which is the legendary sword of King Arthur. Just see. Both blades endow their wielders with great power. Both have inscriptions on their pedestals, as well as their famous wielders. Arthur and Arthas have similar names. And what do you think? Write in the comments if you would like to have the same blade for yourself. Every superhero has a gift. The strength enhanced by a special artifact or, for example, armor. I have no doubt that the next artifact will be recognized by everyone. Of course, this is the powerful glove of Tennis, which he used in an attempt to conquer the universe. The glove is huge. It seems to me that two hands of an adult will easily fit into it. Or is it designed for giants like the Mad Titan himself? The glove is made in golden color, which looks very luxurious. By the way, have you noticed that all six infinity stones are in their places? So, how will we use our power? And this is the mask of the Prince of the Kingdom of Wakanda, who took on the role of the protector of the tribe. Of course, I am talking about the Black Panther. This mask looks very cool, it perfectly fits the face and has a cheek backlight that makes it more visible in the dark. I don't know about you, but as for me, it's a really cool option for parties. If you have a friend who is the Black Panther fan, you can know what to do. As I have understood, this is a Doctor Transformer. It is an unusual costume, no doubt about it. It looks spectacular. I especially like the dark green shade, which is the main one here. I haven't seen something like this for quite a long time. I just wonder about the machine gun in his hands and the grenades on his torso. But maybe this is just a disguise. Then, it turns out, this is a villain in front of us, not a Doctor, am I right? I'm a little bit confused about these Transformers. By the way, it even makes some sound. It's impossible to describe what they look like. Just something unreal. So, guys, I have something important to tell you. The next two swords came from the Monster Hunter. This is well-known game, but I don't know anything about it. So, let's do it in this way. I will show you these awesome swords, and you will write in the comments where they come from, who they belong to, and in general, what the trick is. Since the weapon looks really solid, it must have belonged to a brave warrior. And this is the helmet included in the T-51 Power Armor set. Do you know where it is from? From Fallout, you're right. The armor itself is made of a composite polylaminate. Its outer shell is light enough to absorb over 2500 joules of kinetic force. The 10 micron thick silver coating is capable of reflecting laser and other radiation emissions without damaging the composite layer. The eye slits of the helmet are made of bulletproof glass and protect the wearer from any projectiles. The suit also includes a waste recycling system that can convert human waste into drinking water, increasing survivability. This is a very interesting thing. Looking at the helmet from our video, you can get the impression that this is a real helmet from the game. It is so big and perfectly made. I can't find words to describe it. We slightly touched on the topic of evil characters, and now let's move on to the good ones. Captain America is one of the most famous characters in the comic book world. He was created by writer Joe Simon and artist Jack Kirby and first appeared in comics in the 1940s. Over the years, a total of 210 million copies of Captain America comics have been sold in 75 countries. At the same time, the character attracts us mostly by his nature and strengths, rather than by some unrealistic costume. This mask is the proof of that. Yes, it looks eerily simple, but that's the whole point. 
such a look only makes a more magical and self-confident. Don't you believe? Then try it yourself! Next in line is a miniature DeLorean, a time machine from the fantastic franchise Back to the Future based on the DeLorean DMC-12. It has amazing details, which are not inferior to the ones from the film. There are opening and closing doors, aluminium dashboard, well-designed seats, a lot of wires, coils and other small details that create a special atmosphere. In this regard, everything is done to the highest standard. But do you know what the main feature of the car is? It is a levitation. For this, you need to use a special stand. Just imagine the face of a lover of this universe when he is given a car like this. Yes, his happiness would know no bounds. And it can be fully understood, because the car is really very cool. I just want to see it at my workplace every morning, afternoon or evening, to be inspired and just to watch it when there is nothing to do. Leave a like if you think the same. At first, I thought that there was the most ordinary car in front of me and there was nothing special in it. But as soon as I started moving, I immediately understood everything. This is an awesome transformer in real life. It is not some toy model, but a real, full-size and awesome transformer car that changes super epic and looks mega cool. It would be even cooler if a person could sit inside at the moment of transformation. It would be a real attraction, don't you agree? I think every person has ever been a devoted fan of Tony Stark. After all, the opposite situation is not even possible as Tony is a true genius of our time. You can make a whole museum based on his inventions. Besides, each new costume is a whole work of art. I wonder how every detail can be created so well. And isn't that a talent? But come on, I'm here not for praising someone who is already admired by billions of people around the world. I'd rather show you Stark's Infinity Gauntlet. It is a handmade accessory that contains six infinity stones. Each of these stones can be taken out and rearranged in another slot. In addition, the stones have a glow. I wonder if this hand is also strong. Raise your hands if you have played or are playing Overwatch now. Then you must have recognized the Doomfist. This is a very powerful athletic guy with a huge arm. Numerous implants make him not only powerful, but also a very mobile frontile fighter. He is able to fire from his bombard, shake the earth, throw opponents into the air, unbalancing them and also burst into the thick of battle with a jet strike. And about the meteor impact, I will better keep silent. Psst. This is a too imba thing. By the way, if you want to become as cool as this guy, then you will definitely need such a huge hand, the size of a… okay, just a huge hand. Even a person who has never watched Transformers knows who Bumblebee is. Even the adults who are already over 20 like to hang out with the Autobot at their birthday parties and are filled with joy when they see him. So he has a huge fan base. And for the true fans of Bumblebee, I have prepared a thematic column, which at the same time is a detailed helmet with glowing eyes. The power of such a device is 3 watts. It has Bluetooth 4.1 support, a USB port and a memory card slot. The battery charge is enough for 6 hours of offline mode. Guys, I have no idea which game the next accessory comes from. As I have understood, this is a cosplay of the scales of tail of some great dragon or something like that. Again, if there are people who know the rope, please write about it in the comments. It will be very interesting to read. Everything seems to be made solidly, nothing can break and fall off. It fits like a glove. If to supplement these hands with some spectacular weapon or an even brighter breastplate, then you can get a top set of armor. Do you agree? And this is something like a hoverboard, a flying vehicle. This thing looks very cool and soars above the water no less spectacularly. It works with the help of these powerful propellers that lift a person into the air. Either the guy is so light or they are really super strong. In any case, the flight was a success and all the children around were happy. Leave a like if you want to fly like this too. Predator is an ancient alien race of hunters. They belong to one of the most advanced alien species. They are also called Yotia. Most of the times predators hunt alone, but there are exceptions when a group of young hunters undergo an initiation rite during which the elders choose a prey for the younger ones. The appearance of Yotia is probably familiar to any science fiction connoisseur. There are humanoid creatures 2.5 meters high with a mass of 150-200 kilograms. The face of the predator 
data reminds of a mutated crab and has four lower jaws. When they open, they expose a large mouth with large fangs. The mandibles serve for communication and mood conveying, and their design allows the Yotia to imitate the speech of other humanoids. Well, now you can see a little bit smaller predator. Anyway, this baby looks very respectable. Do you agree? Remember, today we showed you a robot that folded and neatly jumped or drove. So, apparently, this is his best friend, whom he achieved this success with. Yes, that guy has almost the same suit, which perhaps does not go. Or he just hasn't shown us this yet. Among the advantages, one can single out a quick assembly and disassembly of the robot, as well as beautiful elements and full flight train connection, which doesn't leave anything that distracts us from the picture. I even think that if someone walked down the street and saw this miracle, he would never realize that it was a man in a suit. Do you agree with me? Well, that's all, friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave your like and goodbye for now.